Welcome to Sikorshta. Today we're going to talk about some kicks. Uh, the, one of my favorite kicks is the crescent kick. We did mention the front snap kick, which is very powerful, a good kick to the groin or the knees. We mentioned the side thrust, so you've got your front snap, that you aim your knee at, wherever you aim your knee and extend your foot is where it's gonna hit. You know, wherever you have it. So I aim here, kick, it's gonna kick. Your side thrust kick, it's gonna kick with the whole bottom of your foot or your heel. Today, the crescent kick is going to swing out in a moon shape. So you've got your hands up when you kick, and you can do it several different ways. If it come from behind, it's going to come up, swing, and now it can bounce off the floor and hit again. So some people will just come to here and bounce there. So what you're actually doing is using it as a block, in essence, knocking their hands down and coming up. You can also do an outward crescent, which comes from here, out kick, so then you're doing another kick. That was a heel kick. It's hard to see. Got your hands up when you do it. That's very important whenever you do any of these kicks. So the crescent kick is like a moon kick. And it's crescent. So you've got your side thrust, which is powerful. That's the one I would kick a door down with if I needed to kick a door down. I've never done that. You've got your front snap, which is the groin kick. Your knee kicks, some of your best kicks are going to be low. You've got people that talk about spinning back kicks. If you were going to do a spinning back kick, you would spin your body until you see behind you with your peripheral vision. Then your leg would lift up the ground. And then it would come down and kick. We don't have this build with water because of the class situation. So that was the slow portion where you come, spin, lift up and it comes around, and then you can spin. But I personally don't like to turn my back on anyone, so the best kicks are the ones I mentioned, which are forward. You try and do spinning, flying, high kicks, you tend to end up on the ground and hurt yourself and injure. So just remember to keep your blocks up at all times, aim your knee at your opponent, kick. Practice with your back and your front, your left and your right. Front snap from the front, front snap from the back. This is the roundhouse, which would kick with this portion of the leg. You're still going to keep your body up, hands up. That's the roundhouse. It can be high or low. Personally, I like the lower ones. Now, there's an inverted roundhouse that I really like. Where you lift your foot up. You're going to kick with that same portion, and it's going to come like this. And so, that comes right up underneath their block. They've got their hands up, it comes right up underneath their block. It's hard to do because your leg is in an unnatural position, but it's a great...